Good afternoon, Dunnington High School. I thought that it was probably a good idea to cheer my leadership team up because we're all missing each other and it's not the same working at home on our tables. So they do like a, a treat. So I'm going to make them some scones and I thought you might join in and look at what we're doing. So we're going to start by making some sweet scones because most of them would rather have sweet scones and Mr Naylor, who you haven't met yet, who does the timetable and the options, he particularly wants fruit in the scones and everybody else is happy with that. So we're going to make some fruit scones out of respect for Mr Naylor's preferences. So I'm going to start by putting in my 225 grams of self-raising flour and I'm going to add my 30 grams of sugar into that. And then because uh, I can't have uh, milk, I'm going to put in some dairy-free spread. That's 75 grams of that. And my next task is a little bit messy because I've got to mix it together with my hands, which I've already given a good wash to, uh, to make it look like fine breadcrumbs. I'm going to add in the 75 grams of dried fruit that Mr. Naylor wanted to have in. I'll just give that a quick mix around with my knife and you'll see how I need to use the knife to do the next bit of mixing. So that's ready. Make a little bit of a well in the middle of it. And into that, I'm now going to add one beaten egg. And I'm going to start with about three tablespoons of milk. Well, this is alternative milk. This is oat milk. Might need a bit more, but I don't want it to be too wet to start with. So the next bit, I have to blend that all together. Okay, so I've finished uh, mixing this doughy mixture and I've really pushed it together and kneaded it a bit. So that's ready to start flattening out to make the scones. So I'm gonna make them some little scones so I can send them a couple each because I think those are quite dinky. It'd be really nice if we had some jam to go with this. Hi everyone, I'm just making jam for everybody to go with our scones from Miss Staples because that's the kind thing to do. So thank you to Miss Staples for the scones and I hope the jam is tasty. I'm just getting them ready and then there should be one each and I'll get them sent off to everybody. Ten scones using my cutter um, and I've just regathered it together at each point and then flattened it down and cut some more. I'm just left with a little bit left over and my grandma always said waste not want not. So out of respect to her I'm going to make sure that even that little tiny bit can become a scone. I think it'll be a bit smaller than the others but there we have it. Oh my word caught in the nick of time I think. Those look, oops, to a basic tray, collapsing. Those are looking well done, just okay, I would say. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm just making the leadership team at Dinnington High School a cup of each. Do you want to do the uh, tea bags? Oh, um, coffee. Yeah. Coffee? Four. Miss McCann. Do us a spoon, mate. Brilliant work. Thank you. So I got a lovely surprise in lockdown today. I got this pot of jam from Miss Elston which she has made and it's uh, excellent. And Miss Staples has kindly made some uh, scones to have, so what a treat. And I think all I need now is a cup of coffee from Mr. Grenham will go really well with these. So could I have my coffee now? That would be lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Cooper. I was just having more. Coffee. 
snack? Mmm, jam. Nice. Which reminds me of a joke. How does Bob Marley like his donuts? <laughs> We're jamming. What else is this here? What else is this? What on earth could go with jam? Ah, oh, who'd have thought it's a scone? Fantastic. Somebody has been very kind with all of this. So, scone, jam, all I could do with now is a little drink to go with it. Oh, cheers Mr. Grenham, thanks for that. Kindness and excellence. Cheers everyone. You'll take a tea bag. Mr. Naylor. Thank you very much. Miss Elsden, but Miss Elsden doesn't have any milk in hers. Oh, two tea bags, extra strong. From Miss Staples. Since I've been working at Dinnington, I've never seen such, met such kindness. Wow, excellent scones! I love scones, and that's why Miss Elsdon was in on this. Best eat those quick before these birds come along. Miss De Grenham must have known as well for this amazing cup of builder's tea. Excellent. Now, I thought I wouldn't just make cheese scones out of respect to Mr. Grenham and Miss Brickley. I thought I'd make them a bit special. So I'm going to add in about half a teaspoon of mustard powder. It should make them nice. And then I've been into the garden and I've got some of my chives. Looks a bit like grass, only it's hollow. And these will add a bit of flavour as well. So I chop some of these in. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all the scones cut out, the two bigger ones, several smaller ones, and then a wee wee diddly one. That's with the leftover dough. Oh yeah, they look absolutely spot on. And smell delicious. I wish I could eat cheese scones. Anyway, there we have them, finished scones with a little bit of crustiness from the parmesan. I'm really hoping that all the leadership team enjoy these and appreciate that I did it out of kindness and that they'll forgive me if they aren't too perfect. I want to do tea back for Miss Brickley. Miss Elston sent me some butter. How strange. Day. This is going to be the most excellent afternoon tea ever. Do you want to do the tea bags? There you go. Tea bag for Miss Staples. Drop it in. Please enjoy. Oh, is that from Mr. Grannon? Oh, absolutely perfect. Cheers, Mr. Grenham. Thanks so much. That was really kind. I'm sure it's going to be an excellent cup of tea. So, just a quiet moment to enjoy. Let's go. Ready, Jam? Tea? Not to say, those scones are excellent. Jam's not bad too, Miss Elsden. And very kind of you. Thank you very much, you've made my camping in the garden lockdown trip even more enjoyable.